picking number five. Down along the fence, there's about 40 tomatoes she's going to be picking. <laughs> and we got these here. Starting to ripen up. We're going to be picking a mess of these. Making more sauce. This will be picking number five. You can see them coming in down here like crazy. These are the plum tomatoes. They make beautiful, beautiful sauces. And we got millions of them. <laughs> Picking number five. We'll get those too. Those are uh, beef steak tomatoes, I believe. But yeah, we got a lot. Like I say, down along the fence down there, there's still a ton, so. And then over where she's watering right now, there's a lot of tomatoes throughout there. And then down along the back fence, I'm not going to walk over there. Ground's a little wet, but tons and tons of tomatoes. Beauties. Why wouldn't they be? Picking number five. That's almost 25 pounds. Some are little. They're mainly uh, pared tomatoes I showed, just showed. There's some beef steak in there, some celebrity. These all go into a sauce or into a frozen bag. We'll uh, process them and we'll freeze them whole for other projects. Like probably the next one will be chili. Last one we did was, well, you'll see it's not up yet, but it's good. Why wouldn't it be? But yeah, we got more. So yeah, yeah, we do. We got more. And they're on the table here. We're, wife is starting to process some down into a, a thing for sauce. Let's take a walk over there and see what she's got going on. Why wouldn't I? We got the kettle of boiling water, the ice bath, and then the lovely peeling right down into the bowl there for, I guess she's going to freeze some. She might want to make chili out of some. And uh, we did some goulash. Of course, that video's not up yet. I just spoiled the beans on that one, but we'll show how that one's made because it's a damn good tasting goulash that she makes here. So until next time, we're going to finish these up here. I guess she's going to finish these up. <laughs> and then we're going to relax. We're going to put a pizza in the oven, and we'll show you how we relax after the tomatoes are being done. Okay. <laughs> All right. After a day of picking tomatoes, we're going to have a cortex remover in the hot tub. That's where I am now, baby. And the wife's going to join me pretty soon. So, oh shoot. Okay, what we're going to do is show the... DiGiorno Supreme. The DiGiorno Supreme. And we'll enjoy this in the hot tub with a nice glass of Cortex Remover Mead. That was made back in 20... Uh, I'll get back to the label on that. I'm not sure why. So she's going to cut this up here. I got anchovies. I love anchovies. A lot of people don't like them, but we buy them by the can and put them on extra. So I gotta go see what the uh, ABV is on this meat over here. Why wouldn't I? So we don't get in trouble. The uh, label says 121.23. It was made and bottled seven months later. And the alcohol content on this one is, uh, I don't see it. It's on the back label. Did I, did I use back labels? I don't use a back label. Come around, come around, come around. Oh, 11%. Right there. I see it now. 11%. 11 and a quarter percent. So we'll be careful on that one. Why wouldn't we? There's that pizza there. Yeah, I love it with the anchovies on there. Nice. They're yeah, really nice. This is a DiGiorno. Mm. Very, very good. Love it. Pizza and meat in the hot tub. Feels really good. And the meat is very, very, very tasty. Why wouldn't it be? So, until next time, <laughs> stay thirsty.